Hello everyone, welcome to the Go EduHub video online tutorials. In this course, we are going to explain how to program Omron PLC. I am an industrial automation engineer having 4 year experience in this field and I will try that you will understand how to program Omron PLC. So that first question that will comes in your mind is what is a PLC? So first PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller okay? and it is the brain of most of the industrial automation process plc you can understand or you can say as industrial computer okay the work of plc is same as a normal computer but in industrial environment okay due to this it has ruggedized construction okay it can withstand the temperature the vibrations in industries that's why it is known as industrial computer now we know that for controlling a process in industries we have inputs okay such as switches sensors okay then we have outputs okay that means whenever your input state change that means if you are pressing a switch it will become on if you are pressing it again it will become off okay likewise if any input situation is changed you want that your output will be controlled according to your process requirement okay so here comes your plc your plc will take signals from input then it will control your outputs now what is your process requirement how you want your outputs will work that algorithm we have to write in your plc okay so here comes the role of plc programmer we have to provide plc that algorithm by which it will control the outputs according to the condition of inputs okay so we have to learn in this course how to program omron plc as well as how to wire that means how to connect that omron plc with inputs and outputs now we are going to program omron plc so in order to program omron plc we are going to use software cx programmer so CX programmer includes a wide variety of features to speed up the development of your PLC program. So as you can see, structures and arrays read advanced program using data blocks of identical data types or different data types. See here, by using structures and arrays kinds of data types, it will be easy to program. That means those inputs and those parameters which have same data type, okay, we can write them in structures or arrays then it has timers and counters so special data types for timer and counters symbols greatly simplify the use of timers counters in later programs as rungs to reset and check them you can simply access them by using their name so for timers and counters we have to give separate data types okay that means we have to give a separate names a particular name for a particular timer and we can access that timer by with that by that name that smart input a new smarter way to input programs with less key presses resulting in quicker programming okay so that overall summary of that thing is that user interface of cx programmer is very easy to understand and use so if we see content that we are going to cover in this course is introduction to omron sysmex cp1e what is the plc how to work with plc how to do programming of plc how to make logic in plc programming the concept of NO and NC switches, introduction to CX programmer, the concept of latching and unlatching, timer and counter instructions, move, keep, increment and decrement instructions, comparison instructions, arithmetic instructions, program control functions, and we have solved some industrial level problems with every topic so we can understand where we have to use instructions and how to use. Okay who can do this course so plc programmers electrical engineers industrialists working engineers application engineers maintenance technicians so as we know that demand is increasing but production is not that much okay and in order to maintain quality in cheap rate we have to move towards industrial automation okay so here comes the role of industrial automation engineer in every industry we need automation system so here we have list of industries where automation is used for example oil and gas sector machine tools manufacturing industries power plant 
chemical and pharma process industries food industries automobile industries irrigation system and engineering services etc after doing this course you will be a good plc programmer and a star from which you can find a good job and who is a professional worker in the industry can get a good position thank you for watching